Hello everyone and welcome once again to MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I'm your host, your host, and as usual in the host mode, Mohit Jain with second part of few question, nine ten questions from Hexa where actual question asked. Similar kind of questions are there. Practice these kind of question and don't complain that these are easy question. These are the question which are asked at Hexa where. So I can't help it out. These are the question. Solve it, practice it, and do well at your exam. So you know the drill. Pause the session. Try to solve it yourself, and then look out for the solution. So on this note, let's start now. first one on the screen from time and work ema can do a piece of work in 57 days olivia is 50% more efficient than ema that means the work done if ema is producing Two units in the given time, Olivia would be producing fifty percent more. That is two plus one. That is three units in the given time. That means work done ratio is three is to two. And then time taken ratio would be two is to three. That is nothing but inverse of work done ratio. So if Emma is taking fifty seven days to complete, Olivia alone will take fifty seven by three. Into two, that is nineteen into two, thirty-eight days to complete the work. The number of days taken by Olivia to do the same piece of work would be thirty-eight. Option B. Okay. For y square minus three y plus two to be a factor of a given expression, another function, determine the value of m and n. It's given that this function is factor of this. If I say a number is divisible by twelve, can I also say that the same number is also divisible by three and four? Obviously, yes. So if y square minus three y plus two is actually y minus two into y minus one, we have resolved this into factors. That means the given function f of y, that is y to the power four minus m y square plus n, is divisible by y minus two. If it is divisible by y minus two, f of two must be equals to zero. That is sixteen minus four m plus n should be equals to zero, or four m minus n is equals to sixteen. Again, f y is divisible by f y minus one. That means f of one should also be equals to zero. One minus m plus n is zero. That is m minus n is equals to one. Now we need to solve these two. To find the value of m and n, 4m minus n is 16. m minus n is 1. If I subtract, I'll get 3m equals to 15, or m equals to 5. If m is 5, then n is equals to 4. So value should be 5 comma 4 because they are asking for the value of m and n. 5 comma 4. That is in option B. Okay. Question from time speed distance. Matthew covers a distance of two hundred meter in a certain time. If he increases his speed to four times, okay, let his speed be s. Then time taken would be two hundred by s meter per second. If he increases speed to four times, time taken would be two hundred by four s. The time taken reduces by 33 second. This is equals to t minus 33. 
find the time taker to cover 4400 meter at the original speed now 200 by s is t so we can say t by 4 equals t minus 33 33 is t minus t by 4 or 3 t by 4 so t is 33 into 4 by 3 that is 44 seconds the original time taken to travel 200 meter at the original speed is 44 seconds and the time taken to travel 400 meter at the original speed would be 44 into 2 that is 88 seconds option d is the pick two articles are bought at the same price one is sold as 15 percent profit and other at 13 percent profit find the overall per profit percentage see when the cost price of the two article is same overall profit or loss percentage is individual profit plus individual profit on the second divided by 2 so in this case it would be 15 plus 13 by 2 that is 28 by 2 or 14 percent we can also understand this by like this let cost price is 100 then selling price of first item is 100 plus 15 percent profit and selling price of second item is 100 plus 13 percent profit the total selling price is 228 and total cost price is 200 profit is 28 on 200 that is 14 percent or it is simply when the cost price of the articles are same suppose there are n article all cost price are same then overall profit or loss percent would be their summation p divided by n option c is the pick Okay, the one on the screen from mensuration geometry combined. Let's see. Two circle of equal radii pass through each other center. Circle one center and another circle is passed. Same. Center. This is seven. If the radius of each circle is seven, which I have read it before. So, this is seven radius then the length of the common chord common chord is a b this common chord cuts the line joining the two centers into equal halves at 90 degree rider using theorem let it cut at point o and this is c then we can see in triangle a O C this A C is equals to the radius of the circle that is 7 O C is half of C C dash that is 7 by 2 and with help of Pythagoras theorem we can find the length of A O so x is square plus 7 by 2 whole square that is 49 by 4 equals 7 is square that is 49 so x is square is 49 minus 49 by 4 that is 4 minus 1 is 3 49 into 3 by 4 therefore length of AO is root over 49 into 3 by 4 that is 7 root 3 by 2 now length of the common chord is AB which is twice of AO that is 2 into 7 root 3 by 2 so length of the common chord is 7 root 3 centimeter and that we have in option C one more from geometry if M is the centroid and PD be the median with length 18 centimeter of a triangle PAR then the length of PM is we know that centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 from the vertex. So if PD is the median and M is the centroid of the triangle, PAR, then PM is 
टू थर्ड ऑफ द मीडियन दैट इज टू थर्ड ऑफ एटीन ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर ऑप्शन बी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन पॉज एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट An amount of seven eight zero zero is divided among Susan, Pamela, and Katie. The sum of the shares of Pamela and Katie is equals to thrice the share of Susan. So, in, in place of P and K, I can write three S. That means four S is equals to seven eight zero zero. Susan share is. Seven eight zero zero by four. That is one thirty eight nine thirty six one nine five zero. Okay. Now the sum of share of Suzanne and Katie is equals to two third of the share of Pamela. We know the value of S. Fine. we can also know the value of p plus k p plus k is 3 into 1950 1950 3 0 15 1 27 2 and 5 5 at 5 0 question is what is the difference between share of suzanne and pamela s minus p we are looking out for we have value of s we need value of p Okay, so K is five eight five zero minus P, and here K is two by three P minus S. That is minus one nine five zero. So if I take this P here, this will become five P by three, two by three plus one, and one nine five zero five eight five zero plus one nine five zero is nothing but seven eight zero zero. So P is seven eight zero zero into three by five. Five one twenty eight five six zero zero eighteen one fifteen sixteen one four eight six zero. So S minus P difference between four six eight zero minus one nine five zero should be two seven three zero. Yes, difference between P and S is two seven three zero. That is an option D. Just frame the equation. Keep on finding. We have calculated the value of S with these two. We have like equated the value of K and find the value of P. Difference between P and S is two seven three zero. Okay, sample touch from interest. Simple interest this time. At what rate of interest per annum would an amount 400 yield a simple interest of 72 in two years? Now we know that simple interest is P R T by 100, 72. Principal is 400. R we don't know. T is two years. So 4 into 2 is 8. 72 by 8 is 9. So R is coming at 9%. And option C would be the pick. Okay, a classical take from profit and loss. If the selling price of an of an article was twenty five percent more, then the profit made would change by six fifty dollars. That means six fifty is nothing but. Twenty-five percent of the selling price. Selling price is six fifty into four. That is twenty-six hundred. Selling price of article is twenty-six hundred. If the cost price was twenty percent more, that means if the cost price instead of C is one point two C. 
the profit made would change by five hundred dollars. That means the change in the cost price, zero point two C, is equals to five hundred dollars. C is five hundred into ten by two. That is two five zero zero. So cost price is two five zero zero. Selling price is two six zero zero. Find the actual profit made by selling the article. Actual profit is S minus C. That is two six zero zero minus two five zero zero. That is hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Option B is the actual profit earned. We are just dealing with the changes. It is more of a percentage question. Changes are made on what? We need to identify that and then solve. Classical take from application of combination to geometry. There are eight points on a plane, out of which four points lie on a straight line, and no other three points lie on a straight line or a collinear. Find the number of triangles that can be formed using these points. If there are m points on a plane, out of which n points are collinear, number of triangles that we can have is m c three minus n c three. Because to make a triangle, we need three points. So in this case, our answer would be eight c three minus four c three. Four c three are the number of the triangle which are lost due to the four points which lie on the same straight line. Now n c three is n into n minus one into n minus two by six. So eight c three is eight seven six by six minus four three two by six. Eight into seven fifty six minus four, that is fifty two. Fifty two triangles we can form. Option D is the pick. So on this note, thank you everyone for participating. I'll see you soon. Best wishes to everyone.